Hello guys, I proudly welcome you to this Microsoft Access tutorial. In this video, I share with you my professional school management system that some years ago I developed in Microsoft Access powered by Visual Basic for application. The setup is actually ready to be used in all schools. Without not much I do, I will double click the Okay, so after the progress bar, you are shown this. So here you, you double click the name of your school. So data text basic school, I will double click here. Now, the system allows you to log in as administrator, accountant, exam officer, teacher, or a secretary. The accountant and exam officer um, login buttons have been disabled in this current version that we're having here. Okay, so now there's an important notice here that all users need to read. So if we're a user, is a hey admin note that all the features of the accountants have been put sorry accountants uh, all the features have been put in administrator session so meaning that as we go into administrator session we expect to see all accounting features there so who are you logging as we are logging as administrators over hit here now as soon as you click select user you see all the users so these are the users that have been registered as admin in the current version here so if uh, indeed a user has forgotten a password he or she can click forgot password then as soon as you click here, you will be asked to select your phone number. Then your security question comes, you enter, then uh, you proceed. So for instance, uh, assuming that this is a user. So I will type the answer to the security question. Is this true? So you can see it is wrong. So, so you type the, uh, you get the answer to the security question. You cannot, uh, you cannot modify your login credentials unless the administrator is off. So we cancel here. Now I'll log in as myself. So I'll select Smiler. I'll type my username and then tap key to proceed to the password field. Now we hit login. So within a blink of an eye, we should see ourselves in the administrator's homepage. So this is the administrator's homepage. Wow. So now we have all the students in the school displayed up front here so we have 36 students in here now okay and then we also have a dashboard here that gives you a breakdown now you can see that this dashboard is very brief so if you want to see the full dashboard you double click here so once you double click here depending on the speed of your computer uh, you should see the counters in the, uh, the dashboard design that we have so because my machine is very slow, so it is taking more than enough time for these values to show here. As we have here, it's supposed to come here. Okay, so now as you are working, we have this feature here that allows you to go to standby. So now once in the standby mode, uh, you can choose to rest and no one can tamper with the system. Once you come back, you type in your username again and then your password. You hit resume and now you'll be back to your operations. Okay. So if you double click any of these students, so let's say uh, Mary, once you double click Mary, you see Mary's profile here. You will see the parent details, other information. If the student is owing, so this student is owing 1,020. So that is what we have in here. You can click here to add medical information. Uh, you see the house of the student also here. Okay, there's a feature here that allows you to print student profile. You click here. So once you click, you'll be able to preview the profiles also you can also print all the profiles of the students at a glance so if you want to print all profiles you click show all student profiles so once you click here you see all profiles in the system here you see all profiles in the system here you can print upfront or export them to pdf if you want to export to pdf you click export and now you'll be able to see the possible file type that you can export to okay so you can also use this little set path box that we have here to search so let's say i'm looking for a student called yao so i'll type in yao and i'll see yao here okay now if you want to add a student you can also click here and then add your student okay so for staff members if you want to add a staff member you click add staff so once you click add staff then you are ready to enter the staff members information you use this site to upload documents of a staff member and then here to upload a profile picture so these are the location the tabs that you can use to uh, segregate the staff members information okay so now let me open to uh, a staff member so click here to open a staff member 
so these are the information that we have location reference and then also cash basic salary that a staff member actually takes okay so now if you want to print id card you click here and you can print id card for the staff member you can show all id cards that you have in the system here so uh you can show all your id cards so this implies this shows that microsoft access is a very powerful tool that we can use to do varieties of things because this application was developed in microsoft access okay so if you want to see videos about how to create systems like this you check down my playlist i have useful videos uh that teaches you how to do this and frequently i'm also creating a lot of videos to assist you in that regard okay so you go to next you go to next okay so now as we are here now we can just view our staff list here as usual let me click no so you can view your class list as well so these are students in their classes you can also view departments and you can choose to photo student by department so let's say i want to see only jhs i click here and i see only jhs students okay so if you want to see your admissions you click admission bill so sorry admission list okay we don't have any admission so let us admit a student now so if you had want to admit a student you click admissions now admissions here you click your first name so let's say sorry type your first name say dina entry female Birth dates, so let's say 12 November 00. Now, email address none, so class I will assign this student to class 1D. Now, let's say residential address, I will say Kaswa. So, Kaswa. Now, I will save this here. So, the information has been saved. If you want to assign this student, so these students in the primary department, once you click here, you see all departments that we have. So, let me assign him to the lower primary so the code is lp okay now because we are signing here to the lower primary you can click here set admission fee now admission fee so you set the admission fee because after admission you have to pay fee so let's say 1200 400 500 100 and then also 50. so this will be the total admission fee we save okay so now we can comfortably exit and then we type the admission code here now you can see so after admission you can click here to print the admission report also so this is admission report. you can preview this report here now there's this very important message please ensure to find attach this printout your receipt for admission bills and payment so how do we do the admission bills okay so you click here proceed to billing but before then you check the number here so reference id this is what you are going to use to do the billing 206 so we go to proceed now we type 206, which is the ID the system gave us. We submit the bill. So we go to payment. Okay, so now we can see Dyna entry has to pay an amount of this. If you want to remove any of this item from the list, so let's say admission fee, she needs not pay then. You click here. Now admission fee has been removed from all bills successfully. So if you want to remove toiletries, you remove it. Now, how much is she paying? Let's say she's paying all the thousand. So, okay paid by so cash now i'm done i'll click done okay so now we can print our receipts okay so let me shrink the receipts so this receipt is set to print via a2 that is half of a4 paper okay so here we have a message and a receipt dear parent thank you for choosing our school then the project now lifeline transaction id is also shown here in Italy. okay so that is that for admission so now once you synchronize now we have 37 records here and diner has now been added so once you type diner you can see we have diner entry here so if you double click here it means we are going to her profile okay so if you want to see the admission list, you click here. Now you can see you have only had one admission. If you want to see the admission bill, only this admission and the balance is green, meaning the person is done paying. Now if you want to see the general school fees balances, you click school fees balances and here you see all your children that are owned. All the children that are owned. So if you want to send SMS, you click here to create an Excel workbook. But then going forward, I'll be making a separate video to teach you how to send SMS in Microsoft Access. Okay. So now I'll synchronize here. 
okay so guys now how do you edit your school information you click edit school information so let's say now instead of database so now the new school i will say uh a course or let me say data text so data text academy okay so data text academy now this telephone number is a fictitious one and then this is my personal email for my business you can contact me at any time they receive the information here so you can also click here to change the logo if you want to change this particular picture you click here this is the one that shows on the log the login you click here you can remove it now you browse to your pc so let's say i want to use a different picture so let's say i want to use uh so let's say i want to use i want to use so let's say this i'll select it then i'll hit okay so now you can save here now the manager can also upload a signature into the system and which will be shown on the pay slips if i want to see staff members whose birthday for today you click birthday for staff members none of them you, you also can also see the birthday pending and there's none of them okay so now if you want to print your staff list you can print staff list now this is your staff list so if you want to manage classes you click setup school so you have classic departments and houses if you want department you go to the side you can choose to add a new department now let's go back so classes okay so assuming we want to see a class list we click here you select because we don't have students in this class so DHS one border these are the students in there you can click here to print the class so we have print full list if you click here then it means you have a list of all students and then their classes as well okay so these are very quick ones now we also have uh, the school fees feature so school fees so for the school fees once you click school fees now this student nothing is has was just admitted so if i want to enter fee i will just select the term i will enter the amount okay guys so that is that about the school fees now how about the expenditure so we now move to accounting you can track your expenses with this expenses feature so you get expenditure okay so if you want to add expense you click expense add let's say 67 i'm adding it as a school days expenditure description you can click here to update your descriptions so now let me click here and select this so i will say if you want to print the report you click here you cannot display the report also maybe inside here okay so now we can also we have, we have the staff salaries here so you use this to track the staff salaries that is the payroll so now once you click here once you come in here sorry you see each staff member and then the data she shows you the salary history you can click next to move on to next you can also search a staff member here so if you want to see the details of the period of a particular salary you double click this hyperlink and now you see it you can make any editings to it and you can click here to also paste now if you want to pay staff member use this feature auto pay to pay all the staff members together so you click here now you do a settings here if there's any kind of change that you want to do so assuming jeremiah has we have to 